Good morning, everyone. Welcome to FAQ Friday. This week, I got a question about budgeting, but it's not about how to write the budget. It's about how to keep track of the budget and your spending and making sure that you're not going out of bounds. Now, you all know that I think budgeting is one of the biggest investments you can make because you're really taking control of your income and finding what money you have to disperse to where it needs to go. However, while sitting down and making a plan for your money is one thing, the hardest part is actually tracking your month as you're going, making sure you're not overspending in every area. The most basic option is to pay cash for a lot of things. You can get paper envelopes, write down groceries on an envelope and put some cash in it, take another envelope and write clothing, put some cash in it, and then you know that when that envelope runs out of money that you have spent what you've allocated for that category and either you need to rebudget for the month, have a meeting, or you're done spending in that envelope. Now if you're like my wife and I, we struggled with the cash thing because if one of us needed to run to the store after work and the other person had the cash, how did that work and all those things. So we decided we were going to use our debit cards and we found an app that lets us track our spending in digital envelopes and we make sure that when we swipe our card for groceries, we pull up the app, we type in how much we spent and it shows us what's left in that envelope. If that sounds like something that's more up your alley, search through your app stores, find something that will sync between yours and your spouse's if you're married, that will sync between your phones so that when one of you enters something, it shows up on both of your apps. Now Andy and I, we've been budgeting for years and we still have frequent meetings throughout the month if we're getting off track on something. So let's say that that month we had to get a lot of extra things at the grocery store, just certain staples are running out. Well, we might start going over our grocery budget, so we have to stop, sit down, look at the budget, and see where can we pull some money in from a different category. Maybe we're under on gas, and we can pull it over to the grocery budget to cover. The thing is, you, if you're going over in a category, don't just ignore the problem and spend anyway. You have to decide where in your budget you're going to get the money to cover that overage. That's it for FAQ Friday this week, guys. If you have a question, email it to info at craigdacy.com. And let me know what ways are you tracking your budget? How are you making sure that you're not overspending? Are you using an app? Do you use cash? Or do you use something different that I haven't even thought of? Let me know in the comments box below. Don't forget to share this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new episode. Thank you.